Welcome to the Anchor for All Souls. We appreciate you. Good morning, church. Welcome to the second half of the year 2021. I am excited to be in God's presence and I hope you are too. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you from wherever you're watching this service from. I hope you enjoy this service and I welcome you to the Anchor for Rosos. It's a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Sheyi Omidire and I'm going to be leading you in the corporate prayer as we go along into this service. Now let's thank God for how far he's brought us into the year 20 thank into the year 2021 let's begin to thank god for the month of january for february for march for april for may for june in particular let's thank him for giving us the grace to finish the first half of the year 2021 and for bringing us into the second half which is this today starting from today or starting from a couple of days ago on to the next couple of months till the end of the year father we thank you we give you praise we give you glory we appreciate you for what you've done for us as an individual as a family collectively father we give you praise we give you glory we appreciate you lord we thank you for the miracles that you've been able to rot even in our midst we thank you for what you are yet to do we thank you for what you are still doing father we give you praise we give you glory we thank you for our children for our husbands for our wives for our grandparents for our children even for the children yet unborn for our leaders in the church father we save it our exalted we give you praise we give you glory Father, accept our thanks, accept our praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now let's thank God for the just concluded audience of King, which is a usual uh, program that takes place every first three days of the month. It's usually a three days prayer and fasting. Let's just thank God for the just concluded audience of King. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the ministers you've been able to use. We thank you for the miracles. We thank you for the signs. We thank you for wonders we thank you for reviving us O oh lord father we would just want to give you praise we just want to give you praise we believe and we strongly know that you will do great and mighty things even in our midst even in the second half of the year father we give you praise we give you glory we appreciate you king of glory because we know you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above what we ask and above what we think let's begin to thank god and begin to pray that god would revive us even in the second half of this year that the second half of this year will be greater than the first part of this year father we thank you we just want to pray that oh lord god in this second half of this year you would revive us you would do exceedingly and abundantly above what we ask and above what we think in our lives in our midst in the name of jesus through us oh lord god you would proclaim that you are you alone are god even in our lives in our land in our nation in the name of jesus now let's begin to pray the bible says the glory of the latter is greater than that of the former let's begin to pray that the lord this second half of this year shall be greater this second half of this year shall be greater for me and my family for our household for our church in particular in the name of jesus begin to pray that the lord will do awesome and marvelous things even in your life in my life in our church in this nation and wherever nation you're watching this this service from in the name of jesus the lord will do great and mighty things in our lives in this second half of this year in the name of jesus i strongly believe the lord will do you good in this second half of this year in the name of jesus father we thank you we give you praise we give you glory father we give you praise for today's service we thank you lord god for the opportunity to be alive once again we thank you lord god for bringing us into the second half of this year we thank you for this media thanksgiving service only you could have brought us far father we thank you we give you praise we give you glory we pray that even in this service as we go along you will go with us your presence will do great and mighty things in our midst even in the lives of you watching us in the name of jesus father we thank you we give you praise thank you oh lord in jesus mighty name we have prayed are you excited it is now time to bring in anchor glorious voices to lead us in praise and worship thank you enjoy as you listen in jesus mighty name amen believe belong we become the anchor for all souls somebody lift your voice and say hallelujah hallelujah the lord is being good let's give him all the praises yeah. if you're like me and you're happy you're in the second half of the year
Thank you, choir, for that powerful ministration. May the Lord bless you more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Adekule Dosumu, and my task now is to anchor the testimony session of the service today. God has been good to us as a church. Today ends our 35 days of prayer of agreement. We've been praying prayer of agreement for 35 days. And of course, part of the prayer point is that the healed will come back to give glory to God. Not just the healed, people that God has done miracles in their life, distinct, unique miracles. They're coming today to give their testimony. And testimony is biblical. In Luke chapter 8, verse 39, Luke chapter 8, verse 39, the New King James Version puts it this way. It says, return to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you. And he went his way and proclaimed throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him. Now, this man in the Bible had four challenges in his life. He was demon-possessed. He was naked. He had no shelter. And he needed spiritual intervention as well. Now, when he encountered Jesus Christ, so spiritually, physically, shelter and clothing, of course, was part of the package for him. And Jesus Christ enjoined him to go back to the whole city and to tell people the great things that God has really done for him. That is to go and testify throughout his own city. We have some of our members today that they want to testify to the goodness of the Lord. They want to give glory to the Lord for what God has done in their life. So I want us to sit back and let's watch their testimonies. Let's listen to their testimonies and I'll see you shortly. The Lord bless you. Good morning, church. Good afternoon. Good evening from wherever you're watching us from. I just want to bless the name of the Lord for this testimony. Only God could have done this in our lives. Um, without wasting too much time, back in 2017, um, I applied for my um, indefinite leave to remain. And um, my application got refused. Um, and uh, the caseworker at the home office uh, just said, you know, you still at the time I still had my uh, work permit with my, uh, with my employer. Uh, it had about a year left. And um, the caseworker just said, well, you still have your work permit and in another two years you would still qualify for your indefinite stay. But on this 10 year route, <coughs> I'm sorry, um, you've been refused. And um, yeah, so I just left thinking, well, I've only got just got two years and in another two years, I've got my indefinite leave to remain. So I just left. And then 2018, it was then time for my employer to renew my um, to renew my work permits. And then they came up with stories, stories upon stories upon stories. It was incredible, to say the least. And, and uh, uh, just to cut the long, long story short, they didn't give me the work permit. We kept on believing God. Between you and God, I'm standing on the altar of God. Between 2018 and now, we spent over 35,000 pounds. And I'm not exaggerating. It's not an exaggeration. Um, Pastor Yinka will testify this. Pastor knows about this as well. Uh, but myself and my wife, we just kept on believing. We just kept on praying that God would do far above what we can ever imagine. And then in February or March, I think it was in February, Pastor called us and gave us a word of knowledge and said he can see us jubilating and everything. I kept on believing. And by the way, I had been doing, I've been doing few certifications. Um, I'm into IT. Uh, and I've been believing God for a change of job and everything else. Um, so, and in April again, Pastor called us again with that word of knowledge and said, don't worry, your case is already settled. We got that notification, that email, and I was just jumping for joy. And this is where our testimony actually started. Um, after getting that notification, I then put up my CV within two weeks. Oh yes, let me backtrack. Within that word of knowledge, when Pastor called us, he said um, a job is going to come. A very beautiful job. A very, very... And when he, called, when he called us, I had literally just finished two interviews on the same day. I had finished two interviews. Believe you me, after that word of knowledge, within four hours, those two interviews turned into job offers. I just couldn't believe it. I want to thank God for Pastor Shego Adenuga. I want to thank you for your prayers. I want to thank the saints for their prayers as well. It is only, only God could have done this. And I just want to use this to encourage you out there. If you're experiencing any delay, keep plugging into the things of God. If you're in one department, add another one. Add another two, add another three. It would surely come through for you. I just want to use this song this is the song God gave to me. And I just want to use this song to bless the name of the Lord. Eshe Baba Oh Eshe O 
Shomo Eshe Emimi Mo Meta Lokomba Ogo Thank you Father Oh Thank you Thank you, Holy Spirit, Trinity, take the glory. I just want to bless the name of the Lord. Be encouraged. The God that came through for us would surely come through for you. Thank you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, church. Praise the Lord. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God in the land of the living. I thank God for the gift of life over my life, over the life of my family. The highlights of my testimony this morning is about my sister. About a year ago, she had a massive stroke. Uh, we found her unconscious. Uh, we have to call the ambulance, rush her to the hospital. When she got to the hospital straight away, they took her to intensive care unit. I received a phone call later on in the evening that uh, they have to carry out a major operation. I was so confused. I don't know what to do. I quickly called Pastor Shegun. And when we were about to pray, he said he can hear in his ears that the Lord said we should pray for life. And uh, we joined our faith together. We prayed. That same evening, uh, it was the first day of our praying and fasting. We raised a prayer point as well. The saints prayed. And to the glory of God, the op two operations that she had were successful. Uh, she spent about four weeks in intensive care unit. Um, they put her on ventilator and they performed uh, also tracheostomy for her breathing. Praise the Lord to the glory of God. She has recovered. It's still, I mean, a process for her. But I thank God for the hand of God in her life. I thank God for what God is doing. And I said to God that God, if you can save her, I will come out to testify to the goodness of God. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the gift of life. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. All glory belongs to God the Almighty for great things he has been doing in the lives of my family. I am thanking God firstly for his protection over my family to which he has granted us the grace to be alive and well during this critical pandemic period. Secondly, I'm thanking God again for empowering my senior daughter to successfully complete a master's degree program in mathematics through a scholarship program to which she has secured a good job of her choice. My thanks again and gratitude to God for my little princess who will be attending a six year birthday on Monday coming. I return every glory to God the Almighty. Praise be to God again. To Him be all the glory alone in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, church. My name is Falaki Adeniro and I've come to testify of the goodness, of the kindness, of the compassion mm -hmm. of the Lord upon my life. On the 26th of May, we received an unannounced inspection at my workplace from our regulatory bodies. At the end of the inspection, it was revealed that certain activities had been going on, which I was not aware of. But because of my position as superintendent, whether I was aware of those activities or not, I would be held responsible and my license to practice would be affected. This news greatly troubled me and I became very worried and anxious. I knew it was only God that could intervene regarding this matter at hand. And it was only God that could help me out of this situation. My husband and I started our prayer of agreement even before the official start date of 31st of May. I also informed pastor of the situation at my workplace. And he told me that the Lord said the issue at hand had nothing to do with me and that God was taking me to a higher place. Pastor became my second prayer partner. I informed my third prayer partner and we all started praying that the Lord would intervene regarding this matter and that the Lord would vindicate me and that the Lord should please have mercy on me and that the Lord should grant me news that will comfort me. Whilst this was going on, I resigned from my workplace on the 10th of June also regarding this matter. So I now had a second dilemma. I was out of a job. Meanwhile, I may had applied to a company 
a company which I had applied to in 2015 and 2018, and each time my application was not successful. I only applied this time because the location was nearer home. I put in the same CV, changed dates around, put in the same personal statement and stated the salary I wanted. And lo and behold, I get a phone call from the company for an interview. I inform pastor and alongside with my husband, we pray for divine favor regarding this interview. Meanwhile, I'm still waiting for the feedback from the inspection. So I call my workplace on the 19th of June to find out what was going on. And glory be to God Almighty. The news we'd been praying about and waiting for, it was good news. I'd been exonerated. Praise be to God Almighty. On the 23rd of June, I went for my interview. And by the 24th of June, I get a phone call from the company saying that they are happy to give me the job. And they even offer me a salary above what I asked for. Wow, it can only be God Almighty. I just bless the name of the Lord, who within a space of two weeks had granted me two outstanding miracles and breakthroughs. I bless the name of the Lord for going the extra mile for me, for granting me divine favor, for his unfailing love, for his everlasting grace. I just thank God Almighty. I just bless his holy name. I exalt his holy name for he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be glorified. He's worthy to be honored. I want to give special thanks to Pastor Shego Adenuga for encouraging me, for reassuring me, for praying for me and my family. Ultimately, I give all the praise, all the adoration back to God Almighty. Somebody please help me shout, praise the Lord. Wow, wow, wow. I told you, people that God has done great things in their life, they've come back now to glorify the name of the Lord. And this is just the start. Like I said, we just ended our 35 days of prayer of agreement, but testimonies will keep trooping in, trooping in, trooping in. You are next to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. But before you give your testimony next time, let's just pray for all the people that have testified today. Please join me as we pray for them. Father, we thank you for your children that they've come to give glory to your name. They've come to testify to your goodness in their life. We want to thank you for what you've done in their life. Please, Lord, let it be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray for many more people that they will join them next time they have opportunity to testify to your goodness. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you for joining me to pray for the people that have testified today. You are next in line. In the name of Jesus. Believe. Belong. Become. The anchor for all souls. It gives me great joy to encourage us to prepare our giving this morning. It's time for us to honor the Lord with our tithes, with our offering, and it's good to give unto the Lord. And I'd like to encourage us with just one verse of the Bible today, and that's in 2 Chronicles chapter 31, verse 12. 2 Chronicles chapter 31, verse 12, the New Living Translation puts the first part this way. It says, the people faithfully brought all the gifts, tithes, and other items dedicated for use in the temple. So today, I want you to package your tithe and your offering to honor God, our given details will be displayed on the screen. Feel free to give to any of the options that will be displayed and the Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus. Don't forget the key word today is being faithful. So I want to encourage you to be faithful in your giving and God that is a faithful God will reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. As we prepare our fights and our offering today, I just want us to join me as we pray over them before we give on to the Lord. If that's okay, please join me as we pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to give unto you. Please, Lord, let our giving today be acceptable in your sight in the name of Jesus. Bless us more and more in the name of Jesus. Thank you, dear Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you for joining me to pray. And now it gives me great pleasure to call an anchor choir. Please, let's give joyfully unto the Lord. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, church! It's time for offering. Yeah, let's worship the Lord with our offering. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. You are great, yes. You are holy God. Walk upon the sea.
mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, the excellent God. Thank you, the awesome God. We are grateful, Lord. We're grateful. Thank you. Thank you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning, church. And thank you for coming into today's service again. Wow, what a worship. What a time today we've had so far in God's presence. Happy New Month to everyone. And we thank God so much for his goodness, for his graciousness to every one of us. What testimonies of God's involvement in our lives that we have received. God bless all the testifiers. And I also echo, like the Kunkule has rightly said, that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God will make your testimonies permanent in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you to all our friends and our loved ones as you join us day in and day out in this service every Sunday and every other midweek services. God bless you. I want you to know that the times are changing now and very soon we will be seeing you in Jesus' name. You know, this morning as we come into this service, I, I really want to thank God for every of your lives, every family, every friend, everyone that is part of this ministry that has connected with us from the beginning of the lockdown up till today. We really appreciate you. We say thank you to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Those are friends that have connected all over the world. God bless you from different countries, different nations. Thank you for being part of this expression at the anchor for all souls. This is the month of July. It is the seventh month of the year. And you know, it's the second half of the year for us also. And what a way God led us into this second half of the year. God bless the ministry of Minister Gabriel Ogundano and the ministry of Minister Shijo Luiton over the weekend at the audience with the king. What a time, what a time to pray. And without any doubt, I believe that you are revived and I'm revived. Our homes are revived. Our nation is revived. The church is revived. And everything around us is revived. And like I said on Saturday, one of the things that precede revival is rejoicing. Every time there's a revival, the next thing you see is that there's a rejoicing. The people of God can praise God again. The people of God can rejoice one more time. Isn't that what the word of God was telling us there in that scripture in Psalm 85 and verse 6? Psalm 85 and verse 6, the word of God tells us very clearly there. It says, will thou not revive us again? Why? That your people may rejoice in you. So God... It's bringing rejoicing in this second half to you and I in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I want you to continue to echo that word. You know, after this audience with the king, especially as we also come to today, the last day of the 35 days of agreement, what a God, God of perfect timing. He knew that audience with the king is going to come. He knew that 35 days of agreement is going to come and God planned them in such a way that is going to usher us into the second half of the year. Get ready. Like I said to you, July will be unforgettable for you. I'd like somebody to echo that with me and say July will be unforgettable for me. Yes, July will be unforgettable for you. Why? Because miracles will happen back to back for you in Jesus' name. I'd like you to echo that. Miracle will happen back to back for you, for your household in the name of the the Lord Jesus Christ. Mark my word, the next six months will be your best ever in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It will be your best six months ever in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The next six months from this July to December will be your best six months ever in life and you will finish 2021 very strong in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm persuaded, I'm persuaded that this July will be unforgettable for you in the name of the Lord. Why? Miracles will happen back to back for you 
in Jesus' mighty name. You know, this second half, by the grace of the Almighty God, in the name of the Lord, you will regain your wealth, you will regain your strength in the name of the Lord. By the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will come from the place of your hiding in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Things will turn better and better and better for you and for your household in the name of the Lord. You will forge ahead in the name of the Lord. You will never go back again in the name of the Lord. Things will get better. You will get back on your feet in the name of Jesus Christ. You will pull through. You will make way. You will come back. This is a season of bouncing back for somebody. This second half of the year, you will bounce back. Your family will bounce back. Your final will bounce back. Your health will bounce back. Why? Because God has revived everything that concerns you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to receive those words this morning as we continue in this service and more importantly also as we trust God in this new month and the second half of the year. I'm really, really convinced in my spirit that this month to the end of the year will be your best months ever. In the name of Jesus Christ. And to, to that extent in this service as we come to thank the Lord for this second half. As we come to appreciate him for what he has done from Friday, Saturday, from Thursday, beg your pardon. Friday, Saturday and the conclusion of the, uh, the 35 days of agreement today, which is the 35. Fifth day, I thought also that we bring a word. The Lord brings a word to you this morning to affirm what this month and the rest of the year is going to be to you. And so very quickly, I want you to position yourself because whether you like it or not, God has a great plan for the rest of these six months for you. you see, when you see a footballer or a football club playing, they have the first half of the match. And then they have the second half of the match. Sometimes what happens in the first half dictates what happens in the second half. But many times we have seen that there is always a comeback. We've seen also in sports, in football especially, that there is always the opportunity granted that with divine strategy, things can be upturned and situations can change. And that's why I want to let somebody know that in this second half of this year for you, Regardless of what the first half may look like, in the mighty name of the Lord, there's a comeback for you in Jesus' name. God is going to bring divine strategy. God is going to upturn some things on your behalf. And in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, you will be on the winning side. Can I hear somebody echo this morning, I am on the winning side. I can't hear somebody. Let a believer declare this morning, I am on the winning side. This morning, very quickly, I want to talk about your glory, my glory. Let somebody say my glory. Because what God wants to do this second half of the year is that God wants to address your glory. God wants to do something about about your glory. God wants to do something about my own glory. Your life, my life, your destiny, and your purpose is what God wants to do. The Bible tells us in Psalm 3, and I'm going to read that scripture, Psalm 3 from verse 2 to 4. Psalm 3 from verse 2 to 4. The Bible says, many are saying of me. And maybe i like you to put it in context this morning also. Maybe you make it personal to you. Somebody, I want you to know that this is a word God is bringing to you right now. He's bringing to you in your living room. He's bringing it to you where you are sat, where you are lying there. The word of the Lord is coming to you this morning like never before and God is personalizing it to you. David was the one speaking, but I'm sure you can relate with it. Psalm 3, verse 2 to 4. Psalm 3, verse 2 to 4. It says, many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy use. Go further, and he delivers me from every of my affliction. Ladies and gentlemen, every individual created by God has a glory, everyone has a glory I have and you have also. And that's why this morning the Lord is speaking about your glory. In this second half of the year, God wants to address your glory. Everyone has a glory. Every individual created by God has a glory. 
And everybody's glory is unique. Everyone's glory is unique. My glory, your glory is unique to you. You read the word of God in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 38 to 41, talking about the uniqueness of your glory and that of my own. 1 Corinthians 15, 38 to 41. The Bible says, but God gives it a body as it has pleased him. And to every seed its own body. Watch that. All flesh is not the same flesh. But there is one kind of flesh of man, another flesh of beast, another of fishes, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one, note that, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of stars, for one star different from another star in glory. There is a unique glory attached to you. You have a colorful glory, a colorful destiny that God has orchestrated from the foundation of the heart. And you know, sometimes it is possible to be where David is here. And David is saying, because of the things that a lot are said around them, because of the news they've had, because of the way men has judged them, because of where life has placed them, David said, many are saying, God will not deliver me. I came to announce to somebody in this second half of 2021, God will deliver you. Matter of fact, God has gone ahead and God has delivered you. God has gone ahead and God has done what? He has delivered you, child of God. You see, the beauty of every glory is in its manifestation. The beauty of your glory and my glory is that our glory manifests. That dream or that vision that God has given to you will not get any form of recognition, will not be relevant in any way unless it comes to fruition. God's agenda, God's plan for you, God's mandate for your life and my life will not really get any form of recognition until it comes to fruition, until it begins to find expression. You know, that's why this morning I am praying for you that in this second half of this year, beginning from this day, that glory, that gift, that dream, that vision, that idea, that ministry, we find free, we find expression in the mighty name of the Lord. It will come into manifestation. It will come into fruition in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May I say to somebody, the whole essence of your glory lies in it shining. It is in your glory shining that it finds expression. That's why I'm praying that your glory will find expression in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Glory is the quality that outshines the unusual glory. With the manifestation of your glory, you can do the unusual. You can achieve the uncommon. When your glory begins to manifest, ladies and gentlemen, you can become unstoppable and become a high flyer. This morning in this second half of the year, I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the grace for your glory to begin to manifest. Receive it in Jesus' name. You know, you can almost tell if you are in the spirit this morning that this is a power service. This is a service that is personally prepared for you by God. This is a service that is prophetic. This is a service of unusual declaration. And I want you to get ready in this service because many things God is going to say today is going to be a prelude to the things that heaven is going to do and realize in your life and in my life in the second half of the year. We're talking, why are we talking about your glory and my glory? The Bible tells us an interesting thing in Psalm 30 and verse 12. Psalm 30 and verse 12. He says to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and be not silent, O Lord, my God. I will give thanks unto thee forever. What is that saying? The reason why God is speaking about your glory and my glory at this time is that there is the possibility that a man's glory can be silenced. A man's glory can be silenced. 
That is why I pray for you this morning in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Your glory will not be silenced in Jesus' name. You didn't hear me. I want to declare one more time to you, sir. Your glory, your dream, your vision, God's mandate for you and for your life will not be silenced anymore in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Psalm 3 and verse 3. Psalm 3 and verse 3. David said it there. But you, Lord, are a shield around me my glory and the lifter of my head this morning in the mighty name of the lord the lord begin to lift your head begin to lift the head of your children begin to lift the head of your household lift the head of your ministry in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i say one more time god lift your head in jesus name every 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 glory that is silenced this morning i pray in the name of the lord let them begin to rise in jesus name the Bible tells us in Psalm 57 and verse 8, Psalm 57 and verse 8, it says, I wake up my glory. I wake up my glory. I wake sultry and psalm. I myself will awake early. What is he talking about? He's speaking about himself. He's speaking about his glory. You are, you are the representation of your glory. Who you are is a function of who, what your glory is. And how functional and how expressive your glory is. So what David is saying here is that David must have sat down, looked at where he's at, and he must have recognized that his glory is sleeping. And do you want to know the truth? There are a lot of glory. So glory is not sometimes silence. There are glories that are sleeping. May your glory wake up today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It says there, it says, wake up my glory. I wake my glory. And that is why this morning I want to personalize it and I want you to personalize it. Making your own name there and make it relevant. And say with your own name, Shego, your glory today wake up in the name of the lord jesus christ will you declare it one more time make your whole name there shago your glory awake today in the name of the lord and the glory is not just awakening your glory is going to awake and begin to shine it will begin to shine in the name of the lord i say your glory will begin to awake from this morning and your glory will begin to shine in the precious name of jesus christ you see i, I keep saying this to many people Make no mistake, child of God. God is so committed to your life, more than you know. God is interested in who we are and who we will become, more than you yourself or more than anybody else on earth. The glory of a man can sleep. The glory of a man can be silenced. But when God is at work and God revives your life, your glory comes to life. My glory comes to life and stops sleeping again. A woman once shared a story with me which will blow your mind. And may I say to somebody also that this is very important. She's sharing the story of her son, a young son. And so this young boy is in a school. And every time they will call this young boy, call the mother, beg your pardon, after every class. Once she goes to pick this boy, it's like one of the teachers is waiting by the gate. Oh, this is what Johnny did today. Oh, that is what Johnny did today. Johnny was ruly. Johnny was that. And this woman became so troubled. Children are meant to be a blessing from the Lord. They are the heritage of the Lord. The seed of the womb, they are reward. And by the way, God bless all the heritage church for last Sunday service. Awesome time. A beautiful time we had in the presence of God. And God bless all the teachers, all the ministers who supported them in having a wonderful session and god bless all the parents also who gave their time for their children to be present children are the heritage of the lord so this woman became burdened lord what is this what's going on john is not doing well in school now may i also say to many people one of the things the way it works in this world is that in schools especially in primary schools so you need to recognize that when a child is in a primary school they sit them in tables based on their ability based on their capacity they sit them on table based on the assessment of the school of their ability and so it is possible for two children to be in a class but what the curriculum they are taught is not the same one is on the high table they call they, they call it top table and then another one is in a low table 
And that's why for parents, it is important for you to always ask questions. Don't assume that because your child is in school, they are taught the same thing. There are children that are just being, that they're just being cruised along. It's okay, just let them continue. They are below the standard, but it's okay as long as they show up. And then there are some students that are on the top table and teachers give more attention and concentration to, and it's happening live every day. So as parents, as you go into your child's school, always make inquiries. What table is my child on? What level is my child working on? At this moment, when you look at the national, the national average, you want to check where your child is at that table. The interesting thing about this woman's child was that, of course, this boy was at the lowest table in the class. What they do is that they put all the lower, the, those children that they, 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 they thought by their own assessment as they never do well, they put them on the low table. So they, they bring them into a class and they are teaching them stops that really are not relevant for them. They are not pushing them. So these children are just cruising along and they concentrate on those on the top table and no wonder you see the disparity even when it comes to their assessment and their examinations. And so this woman noticed this. And the interesting thing, remember we're talking about glory sleeping. We're talking about glory that is silence. And so every morning, ladies and gentlemen, before this young man went to school, this, man, this woman will call the boy's name. Johnny, from today in the name of the Lord, your glory will not sleep anymore. Your glory will arise today. Your glory will shine in the name of the Lord. When Johnny is back from school and Johnny wants to go to bed, this woman will declare, Johnny, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your glory will not sleep anymore. Your glory will arise. Your glory will begin to shine. She continued to declare it day in, day out. Little did she know. Now, as she was declaring it, listen to me, child of God, what she also did was that she engaged a private tutor who was also teaching Johnny and taking time with Johnny so that Johnny can also move in the pace of time, but she was also taking time to pray for Johnny. She would declare night and day, your glory will not sleep anymore. Your glory will shine, Johnny. She will pray. She will lay hands on Johnny. And within the space of one time, Johnny moved from the lowest table to the middle table. Watch that. Johnny moved to the, to the middle table in the class. Must have jumped some tables to come to the middle. And then this woman did not stop. She continued to pray, Johnny, your glory will not sleep. Johnny, in the name of the Lord, your glory will shine. They continue to teach Johnny her private tutor, but she continued to declare. I hope somebody is listening to me. You cannot accept the dictate of the enemy. You cannot accept where the devil kept you. You cannot accept what they said you are. There is something God expects you to do. God expects you to act. As you act in faith, he wants you to act in action in this second half of the year. And for those parents who are listening to me too, maybe it's time for you to begin to declare also concerning your own child. This woman continued to pray. By the end of that year, Johnny has moved to the top table. Ladies and gentlemen, moved to the top table. Johnny was excellent in class. His behavior had changed completely. The report was no more there. Before, remember when the mother was coming into the school, as she approaches the gate her heart is already palpitating because she knew a teacher would call her hey this is what johnny did nobody was calling her anymore because god began to change the story of johnny ladies and gentlemen this morning also as we continue in this meeting i am believing god for somebody that your glory will awake in the mighty name of the lord and that glory will shine in the name of jesus christ amen May I say to someone also, the essence of glory is not just to wake up. What is the essence of a glory waking up and not manifesting? And so when God is speaking about your glory, he doesn't just want you to wake up. God wants your glory to manifest. How do I know that? In John chapter 2 and verse 11. John 2 and verse 11. The Bible says, in the beginning of miracles, this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Canaan of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him. Manifested forth his glory. So he was invited to that marriage. He turned water into wine and the Bible concluded that this was the beginning of his miracle. This was the beginning of of his assignment at Canaan of Galilee and it was the manifestation of his glory. And then his disciples believe him. People will not believe you. You want to hear the truth? 
unless your glory begins to manifest. That is why this morning I am agreeing with you that in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, the anchor for all souls will manifest your glory. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, I decree one more time that that glory will find expression like that young boy called Johnny. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Do you know that very soon Johnny came to the top table? And Johnny was not just on the top table, Johnny began to shine. Johnny began to shine. Johnny began to shine. Everybody could see that something is different about Johnny. His behavior was different. His academic achievement was different because he began to manifest who God wanted him to be. Get ready, sir. Get ready, man. In this second half of the year, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your glory will manifest. The glory of your husband, of your wife, of that your child, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, will manifest. They will find expression. That is what it means. It will find relevance. It will find expression in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do you know that your glory has a voice? There is a voice for your glory. And that is why this morning also, as we come into this second half, the Bible tells us in Ezekiel 19 and verse 9, Ezekiel 18 and uh, 19, beg your pardon, Ezekiel 19 and verse 9, it says, and they put him in words in chains. Watch that. They put the destiny in words in chain and brought him to the king of Babylon. They brought him into holds, my God, that his voice should no more be heard upon the mountains of Israel. That his voice will no more be heard upon the mountains of Israel. I want to pray for somebody this morning. The voice of your glory will be heard in the name of Jesus Christ. You didn't hear what I said. The voice of your glory, the voice of my glory, the voice of our ministry, of your family, the voice of your glory, that assignment, that voice will be heard in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you look at the life of John, Johnny, that little boy, the voice of his glory was heard. Jo Johnny became a voice. He became a a, a, a a voice to reckon with in the school because what simply happened to Johnny was that not only was Johnny back was now on the top table and I really don't know you see in this second half I kind of have a witness in my spirit that what God is doing and what God is going to do in this second half for a family for an individual for that young boy for that young girl is that God is going to cause an unusual awakening in the mighty name of the Lord awakening of spirit awakening of soul of the body of your mind in the mighty name of the Lord to comprehend and to be able to do measurable things in the name of the Lord guess what happened Johnny got to the top table everybody realized something was changing in Johnny but something else also began to happen you see in every school there are there is what or a set of children that are called the gifted and the talented may I say that to you today they are called the gifted and the talented now the gifted and talented children are children that are sought out separated from all by you being in that class it means that that child has some kind of gift so they are gifted maybe in sports they are gifted in music in poetry in drama sometimes they are just academically above all so they call them gifted and talented and these are the children that represent the school sometimes there are scholarships for them there are awards for them they are the children that the school will present and, and showcase and they become the voice for the school very soon they noticed that John was not just academically good John was gifted John was a great sport guy so all those restlessness and the teachers could not understand why John was behaving that way was because he was looking for a place and a way to express that giftedness in him that ability to run he's a sport guy he can run 100 meters John was the win was the win as 
was the winner. 200 meters is the lead in the whole of the school. 400 meters relay. John was the captain of the relay team of the school. Very soon, everybody began to see John. He became a voice. He became one to be reckoned with. Why? Because his glory suddenly woke up. There is somebody on the line this morning. Somebody who joined this service this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray in the name of the Lord, may your own gift also find expression. May your voice be heard in the name of the Lord. May that talent work for you in the name of the Lord. Everything buried in the name of the Lord. In this second half of this year, get ready in Jesus' name. For God will do mighty things in the name of the Lord. I want to declare one more time your voice will be heard. Let somebody help me echo this one. Say my voice will be heard. Oh, I can't hear you. Say my voice will be heard. The voice of my children will be heard. The voice of my wife will be heard. The voice of my ministry will be heard. Anyone say with me one more time, my voice will be heard in this month and in this second half in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because when God increases, when God raise your voice gives you a voice you know what will happen like david was praying in psalm 71 and verse 21 psalm 71 and 21 he says oh lord increase my greatness your greatness will increase and i like to prophesy to somebody that in the name of jesus christ in this second half of 2021 your greatness will increase in the name of the lord jesus you will never be small anymore and the lord will comfort you on every side in other words he will encourage you the lord encouraged that woman on every side the lord encouraged mama johnny on every side this morning in the name of the lord the lord encouraged you the lord encouraged encourage you over your children god encourage you in your finance god encourage you in your health god encourage you i decree this morning in the name of the lord receive the encouragement that comes from the father in the name of the lord god encourage johnny's mother and i pray in the name of the lord that you are encouraged over your children you are encouraged in the mighty name of the lord jesus do i have a believer still following me this morning let somebody declare with me my glory will shine Come on, declare one more time. My glory will declare. My, my glory will shine in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, God will increase you greatly. He will comfort you. He will, he will comfort you on every side in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me show you what increase may look like for somebody in this second half of the year. When God is talking about your glory, when God is talking about increasing you, you see, for John is small, she became the woman everybody want to meet. Oh, she became the mother that also had a voice. She became somebody that everybody was asking, how did you do it, Mama John? How did it happen for you, Johnny's mama? What did you do? And then she would do, she would, she would answer them. Hey, you know how church people say, hey, it's the Lord, it is the Lord, hey. Listen to me, child of God. Very soon in this second half of the year, because of what God will do in your life, in the mighty name of God, men will flow in your direction. Men will come to you asking you, how did it happen in the name of Jesus? Remember, Johnny's mother did not just pray. Every day she was declaring upon that boy, your glory will shine. Your glory will manifest. Your glory will, will, will wake up in the name of the Lord. And she got a private teacher. Faith without work is dead. There was an action to it and yet a corresponding prayer. Anybody following me today, you will increase in the name of the Lord. Your glory will find expression in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What does it look like? When God increases you, the Bible tells us in Psalm 105, Psalm 105, verse 24, it says, the Lord increase me greatly. And the Lord will increase you greatly, sir. And make you, make me stronger than our enemies. I love that one. In this second half, God will so increase you greatly, you will be stronger than your enemies. The enemies that has oppressed you, suppressed you, kept you down in the name of the Lord. You are gaining strength over them in Jesus' name. And you know when I talk about enemy, I'm not talking about your friend. I'm not talking about that person you beefed. I'm not talking about that fellow that you had disagreement. That's not your enemy. Listen to me, child of God. Your number one enemy is Satan himself. 
Your number one enemy is the devil. Your number one enemy is the devil, the one that is against your glory, against your purpose, against the counsel of the Lord. So when God increases you, guess what happens? You become stronger. He cannot capture you. Pastor, how do you mean? The Bible told us in the book of Job, chapter 1, read the story of Job. When God increased Job greatly, the Bible says even the devil testified. You had testimonies today in the service. The testimony of the devil concerning Job is that God has so blessed Job. He blessed Job and he has surrounded Job. He has protected Job so much so that not only Job was protected, everyone in his household, his flocks, everything he had was protected and the devil could not penetrate into the home of Job. I like to declare to somebody this morning, by the reason of what God is doing in this second half, get ready. God will so protect you, the enemy will not be able to penetrate you. He won't penetrate your finances. He won't penetrate your marriage. He won't take advantage of your health. He will not take advantage of our churches anymore. In the mighty name of the Lord, God will protect us as he increases us in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear a believer help me say amen this morning? Oh no, I can't hear. Let a believer, a child of God, who believe God that your glory is shining, help me declare amen this morning. Go one more time, say amen. Matter of fact, I want you to receive it. You know, I told you, and this is a word of God for you. This month of July, is going to be a favorable one for you in the name of Jesus Christ. How do I know? It's going to be so favorable that your stories and your testimonies is going to change. Miracles will happen for you back to back, back to back in the name of the Lord. Testimonies will happen for you back to back in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is what God will do in your life. That's what God will do in my life in the name of the Lord. Doors of opportunity, doors of increase will open unto you according to 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 9. It will open to you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs 8 and verse 12. Proverbs 8 8 and verse 12 talks about witty, knowledge of witty inventions. This morning also, in this second half, as your glory wakes up, as your glory rises and begins to manifest, get ready for witty inventions. Knowledge of witty inventions. Very soon, this little John began to do things, stuff that nobody thought about. He had the grace and the wisdom to code. So in his own little capacity, he began to code. He began to code. He began to cope. He began to code this little journey very, very soon. He began to attract the interest of multinationals because of that grace that God gave to him. This morning, in the mighty name of Lord, I pray witty inventions upon you, upon your household, upon your children, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh my God, anyone there with me this morning? God is at work in your life. Your glory indeed will manifest. My glory will do what? Will manifest in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, as I close this morning, I just feel strong on this Thanksgiving day that when your glory arises, this is what it will end with. The Bible says in Jeremiah 30, and I'm going to read verse 19 first. Jeremiah 30 and verse 19. Scripture says, out of them, shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. Not that when your glory arises, when dreams come to reality, when your visions begin to find expression and your goals are realized. And not just that alone. When you see God move, Bible says something would happen. Out of everyone will proceed thanksgiving get ready begin your thanksgiving now you know i don't wait to be a millionaire to begin to give to god oh i don't wait to be rich to bless god i don't wait to be happy to celebrate him from now thanksgiving can proceed from me 
If there's something I love about David, if there's something I love about his son, which he passed on to his son, is the heart of thanksgiving. Is the, out, is the art of rejoicing, the art of celebration. The Bible says out of them we proceed thanksgiving. Out of us we proceed thanksgiving, but not just thanksgiving. He says it will also proceed the voice of them that make merry, the voice of those that celebrate the song, the voice of those that rejoice. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few i will also glory them and they shall not be small they will not be insignificant they will not be insignificant they will be significant in life because out of them proceeds thanksgiving get ready today because it's time to thank the lord it's time to bless him it's time for god to be to be glorified i've always told you you know the winning side is the shouting side the winning side is the dancing side i want to tell somebody this morning because your glory is no more dormant your glory Glory is risen. Your glory is beginning to shine. It's time to thank the Lord. It's time to praise the Lord. It's time to thank Him ahead of what He has in mind for you. It's time to celebrate Him. Do I have somebody in the house for the next one minute? I want you to lift up your voice this morning. If there is anything you can give to God, it begins with your thanksgiving. It begins with your rejoicing. It begins with you appreciating God. It begins with you honoring God. It begins with you celebrating Him. Go ahead. Begin to appreciate Him. Begin to bless Him. Begin to honor Him. Begin to love Him. Him. begin to thank him begin to appreciate him in the name of the lord why not tell him tell him how wonderful he is tell, tell him how kind he is to you thank him for your glory that is no more dormant your glory that is no more sleeping your glory that has found expression come on let somebody bless him bless the name of the lord for out of you and i proceed this morning thanksgiving in the name of the lord jesus christ I'm excited about what God is doing. I'm grateful to God for what God is set to do in your life. You watch the pace. Like somebody, wherever you are this morning, prophetically, I want you to declare with me that July will be unforgettable for me. Go ahead, declare it. July will be unforgettable for me. I'd like you to do it one more time. Say, July will be unforgettable for me. Say with me, miracle will happen for me back to back. Go on, say it. Miracles will happen. We happen for me back to back in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say it one more time. Miracles will happen for me back to back in the mighty name of the Lord. The next six months will be the best six months of my life. Say it one more time. The next six months will be the best six months of my life. I will finish 2021 strong. And you will finish it strong indeed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, as I minister, I just want to share with you as I close. Child of God, there is nothing heaven cannot do. Turning things around, giving you a new beginning, giving you a future, repairing times and seasons and redeeming them for you. And that's what I believe God wants to do in the second half of the year for many families, for many individuals, for many lives. And no wonder in his wisdom this morning, God is calling on someone. There's somebody on this line also, you've never given your life to Jesus. God is asking you to come today. And I want to pray with you if that is you. You want to accept Jesus into your life. Please come. You see, for us, this weekend has been a season of revival. God restoring us, changing us. That's why we can boldly declare that our glory is rising again. If you have not been revived, if you have not been saved, if you have not walked in the path of the Lord, he doesn't know you, but he wants you to come to him. And today I want to ask you, please open your heart and your mind and let us engage with the Lord. You want to say, Jesus, come into my life as my Lord and my Savior? Why not put your hands on your heart like this and we'll pray together. And will you please echo with me and say, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I thank you, God, for dying for me. Today I repent of my sins. And I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you if you made that decision. Right now, there's a number displayed. Can I encourage you to please send a message right now? This first Sunday, send a message to that number. We'll be in touch with you ASAP. We want to work with you. We want to welcome you into this God's kingdom. And I know that in Jesus' name, together we will reign in glory. And your glory will continue to shine. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.
We give God praise. And one more time, to those who gave their lives to Christ, congratulations to you. God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are welcome into the kingdom of God. Amen. And right now, we are about to thank God. And we have many reasons today to thank the Almighty God. First and foremost, a big shout out to everyone born in the month of July. Happy birthday to all July celebrants. Happy birthday. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. And I know that a lot of special people are born in this month of July. You are all special in yourselves. You are unique. And as we have declared, your glory will shine in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. We believe God with you that this year will be your best year in Jesus' mighty name. We love you. We appreciate you. We thank God for the things that God has done before in your life. And we're looking forward to this new year, what God will do in all of your lives, whether it's your birthday or it's your wedding anniversary. On behalf of Tayo and I and all the leadership at the Anchor for All Souls, we love you. We love you. We love you. And we believe God with you that this time next year will be a greater celebration for you in Jesus' name. So we are going to be celebrating everyone born in the month of July. Those whose wedding anniversary is in July, we will be celebrating everyone also today in the name of the Lord Jesus. So on, on that also, like I said, the Thanksgiving is so loaded. And you and I have a lot of reasons, to be honest, to thank the Lord. It's the media Thanksgiving. And I want you to prepare to bless the name of the Lord. I want you to get ready to dance, to celebrate him with your dancing. And more importantly, with your substance also. This morning, where are we thanking God? We are thanking God also for the successful completion of the audience with the king this month. We are really grateful that God indeed has revived us and it will continue to in the name of Jesus. We are also thanking God more for all the miracles as you already began to hear some of the testimonies. We're thanking God for the miracles of this year's 35 days of agreement as it ends today. 35 days of agreement is ending today, but the miracles of God in your life continues forever in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are thanking God for the end of 35 days of agreement. We are thanking God for the miracles we have received, but we are thanking him more for the miracles that is yet to come our way in Jesus' name. It's the mid-year we are thanking God from now till the end of the year. The Bible says, he who began a good work in you and I is able to complete it. We are thanking God for a good completion to this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is there somebody else there also who want to thank God because your own glory is finding expression? Is there somebody in the house today who is saying, I just want to thank God because I can see God turn my own story to that of John's, Johnny's mama also. Remember um, Johnny's mother, um, Johnny was rascally. Johnny was a bad boy. Johnny was in the company of those boys that never did well. But God changed the story of Johnny, and Johnny became a celebrity. The mother became celebrated. Maybe somebody is also thanking God today and saying, God, you who did that for John's, Johnny's mom, mother, you are able to do much more than for, for me also. Remember that scripture in Jeremiah chapter 30 that we read before. Jeremiah 30 and verse 19, the Bible says, out of them shall proceed thanksgiving it's time for you let thanksgiving proceed right now and i'm going to ask you please don't thank god on your seat today don't thank god on your bed get up and thank god get up and dance get up and celebrate him and don't just thank him thank him with a worthy offering thank him with a worthy gift today unto the lord you know the truth of the matter is that your offering is the only thing that breaks your suffering and that's why today i want you to give god a worthy thanksgiving offering worthy of the media worthy of your own expectation and please had the corresponding dancing to it in jesus name if you are like me can i ask you to rise up right now all the details Giving details are being projected now so that you can avail yourself of them. And then we will come back, we will have a blessing together, and then we will share with you the next big thing that the Almighty God is doing. By, by the way, just to also add to your thanks given and to your dancing, may I say to you ahead of time, next month Thanksgiving is going to be so, so special. Thanksgiving Sunday, you will be gathering with me, I will be gathering with you, we will be celebrating God together. And i tell you a bit more about that when we come back. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody
everybody lift your voice and give the Lord a shout praise this morning. Our God is worthy of praise. We come to dance and celebrate His goodness. Hallelujah. Hey, let me see you put your hands together now. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. What a man can do My God You have done for me 
Hallelujah. Amen. Did you dance? Did you celebrate God? I want to pray for you that rejoicing will not cease in your own home. Celebration will not cease in your life in the name of the Lord. You will go far. You will do well in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, worship team. The Lord bless you for being a blessing today to us, not just today, but every day. And that's why I pray every day of your life, the Lord will continue to bless you also. Out of you will flow thanksgiving, rivers of living water by the day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a faithful God we have. Right now, we will be blessing everyone. I intend to release a blessing as the Lord lays in my heart to us for this month. But just before I do that, let me quickly um, receive, take one or two announcements, and then we'll be ready to go. Without any doubt, God has been good to us. God has been very faithful to us, and that we thank God for. A few weeks ago, I had a meeting with all our leaders, and I spoke about God's stopgap. That God gave us a stopgap as we continue to pray and believe God for a permanent place of worship. And so because of that stopgap, what it means is that God has given us a place to begin to worship, which is temporary. We will not be going back to the school that we used to. God is taking us to a different place right now, and it's going to be at St. Augustine's in Belvedere. The details is projected right now as I speak to you. And so on that note, physical service will resume next week Sunday by the grace of God. Next week, Sunday, will be physical service. So we look forward to receiving as many of you as possible. I will see you and you will see me and we will be able to bless the name of the Lord together. Now, may I say to you that the online service will also continue whilst the physical service is going on. So for as many people, I want to encourage you, please come. And those who can't, for some reasons, we want you to please continue to join us the same time. 10 o'clock, the online service will be on and it's going to be the exact thing that is happening in the physical service. Now, the interesting thing about the physical service also for us is that I want you to please note that the spaces are going to be limited and for you to come into the service because of the compliance of COVID. And you know, as, as a person, for those of you who work around me, as a church, we are compliant and we will be. So please, if you want to join, a link will be sent in the course of the week to everyone just for you to indicate, to register, that you will be coming into the service. But I can assure you that as you come in, oh my God, you will thank God. And I'm looking forward to somebody coming in, by the way, to come and join me for the first time we're coming together. I believe we have reasons to thank God. How many of us believe that's a good idea? Yes, please come. Let's just come together. The first meeting after lockdown, let's just thank God together. Let's celebrate him. Let's appreciate him. 10 a.m. at St. Augustus, Augustine's Church um, School in Belvedere. Um, on Sunday, we will receive you. That's ample parking, by the way, for everyone and a lot of space for all of us to express ourselves. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And please remember also that immediately after today's service at 12.30, Heritage Church service, the junior church service goes on. Encourage, get the children to be on it also. And on, at 1.30, the youth church service, the pure church, will also go live. Please join them, every youth, under the sound of my voice. Invite your friends. Let them come around too. Let there be an expression of God's glory around every one of us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't it interesting also that morning dew is this Monday, 5.30. Please join with us at morning dew. Be part of it. Let's pray together. Let's continue to declare. Johnny's mommy did not stop. She was taking time to coach the son, coach the son, get private tutor, but she was also declaring by faith upon John. And God, God turned around the story of Johnny. And the same way, God will join and turn around your own story in the mighty name of the Lord. Bible says men ought to pray and not to faint. It's time to pray. It's time not to faint in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And on Wednesday, we'll continue. Our midweek service will always be online, so you can always join us from the comfort of your zone, I mean, of your home, wherever you are at. Midweek service will always be online, but from this Sunday, service will be physical, and at the same time, it will also be online. It will be actual, it will be virtual in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is somebody blessed in today's service? 
Is someone grateful? Can I help, ask you to help me give a shout out one more time and say happy birthday? Happy birthday. You can type it. You can chat it to every celebrant in July. Happy birthday to you. We love 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 you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And on that note tonight, as we today, as we bring today's service to a close, wherever you are today, I'd like to make a declaration upon your life. I'd like to speak prophetically from the word of the Lord unto you today. Get ready wherever you are. Position yourself, position your household as we receive this blessing. 35 days of agreement comes to an end today. So in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I stand today on this altar of the living God and I agree with every one of you male and female young and old that as you have spoken in the hearers of the Lord in these 35 days so the Almighty God will do in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree in the name of the Lord that the Lord will give you hunger a burning desire hunger for God to know him in the mighty name of the Lord to serve him in the name of the Lord that your life and my life in the name of the Lord become a testimony will become a carrier of God's miracle in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I I want to prophesy to someone and I agree with you on this altar today that this 35 days of agreement as we have also spoken that God will favorably favor his church in the name of the Lord and take us to a permanent place of worship as you have prayed it for his church in the name of the Lord God will do in your own life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you know the interesting thing also is that I am agreeing with somebody today that the miracle God is bringing this year Barosh Kadabalia God is bringing you special miracle specific miracle miracle that are distinct to you sir receive it this morning in the name of the lord jesus christ as you have danced before the almighty god as you have praised the almighty god god said because david praised him recklessly he will ensure that at no time will a member of his family not be on the throne of israel i pray for you today sir i pray for you man because of today's rejoicing because of today's thanksgiving there will never be a time in your household, in your lineage, that you will lack for the help of God. In the mighty name of the Lord, today in the name of the Lord, I decree according to Jeremiah chapter 30 from verse 16. Now get ready for this. This is every this is loaded. Jeremiah 30, I begin to speak right now. And I decree into your life from verse 16. I'm reading from the message Bible and I'm praying that scripture into somebody's life today. Everyone who hurts you will be hurt. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray one more time for you. According to Jeremiah 30, 16. Everyone who hurts you in the name of the Lord will be hurt in Jesus' name. Your enemies will end up as your slaves in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your plunderers will be plundered in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your looters will become loots in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As for you, as for your household, as for your family, I decree in the name of the Lord jesus christ god says i will come with healing in the name of the lord receive that healing in jesus name it will cure the incurable god says in the name of the lord the incurable is cured in your life in the name of the lord jesus christ because they all gave up on you everyone gave up on you every family gave up on you every friend gave up on you the lord god said concerning you because they dismissed you as hopeless because they called you good for nothing today in the mighty name of the lord bible says again i will turn things around for you get ready in jesus name god will turn things around for you he will turn things around for your family he will turn things around in your home in the name of jesus in our churches god will turn things around in the name of the lord he says i will compassionately come and rebuild your homes today in the name of the lord in this second half of the year the lord begins to rebuild your home rebuild broken marriages broken relationship bro broken finances broken ministry the lord rebuild it today in the mighty name of the lord the towns will be rebuilt on its old foundation in the name of jesus christ the mansions will be splendid again yes it will be splendid in the name of the lord thanksgiving will pour out yes it will pour out of the windows thanksgiving will pour out from the windows in your homes in the name of the lord laughter will spring through the doors in the name of the lord jesus christ things will get better and better i love that one 
things will get better and better for you. It will get better and better in your health. It will get better and better in your finances. Marriage will get better and better for you. I command in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your health gets better and better and better and better better in the mighty name of the lord the days of depression is over in the mighty name of the lord you will thrive you will flourish in the name of the lord let someone declare with me i will thrive i will flourish declare with me you will thrive say i will thrive i will flourish in the mighty name of the lord the days of contempt is over in the name of the lord jesus christ they will look forward to having children again get ready to have children again get ready to be called a mother get ready to be called a father get ready to be called uncle in the mighty name of the lord for the word of god says they will look forward to having children in the mighty name of the lord to being a community in which I have pride in. God, we have pride in you. In the mighty name of the Lord, I will punish anyone who hurts them. God, we punish anyone that hurts you. Your princes will come from their own ranks. In the mighty name of the Lord, one of their own people shall be their leader. Their ruler will come from their own rank. I will grant him free and easy access to me. In the mighty name of the Lord, God, we grant you free and easy access to him in the name of the Lord would anyone dare to do that on his own to enter my presence uninvited God says today and that is it you will be my very own people and I will be your own very God in the mighty name of the Lord father we thank you in the name of the Lord we go with this word we declare one more time July will be favorable for everyone in the mighty name of the Lord July will be favorable for you I said July will be favorable for you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Miracles will happen for you, sir. Back to back, back to back, back to back. This next six months will be your best six months ever. You will end this year strong in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. As we take the declaration, may I just give a word to somebody today. You see, God is just a God who is faithful. And so, I want you to make this declaration with all your heart. Say with me, I shall live, I shall not die, I shall live to declare the glory of the Lord, to declare the works of the Lord, to declare the counsel of the Lord in the land of the living in this year 2021, my year of great greens and several years to come. Amen. Would you please turn to someone to your right, to your left? Or you can point to me. And I can assure you, if you're in the service next week, you will have somebody standing next to you that you'll be able to turn to. And say to that person boldly today, you shall live. You shall not die. You shall live to declare the glory of the Lord, to declare the works of the Lord, to declare the counsel of the Lord. In the land of the living, in this year 2021, your year of great gains, my year of great gains, and several years to come. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.